next type of biological assays is turbidimetric and growth assays the principle wise it is similar to the earlier diffusion assays the only difference is the type of medium which is used in case of diffusion assay it is solid growth medium and in case of turbidimetric and growth assay it is liquid medium that means we consider the basic principle that these assays are also performed to quantitate fermentation products which have effect on growth either inhibitory or stimulatory effect in this case as the name indicates turbidimetric we test the effect inhibitory or stimulating on the growth of organism and we quantitate that in relation to the increased or decreased turbidity in case of diffusion assay it is increased it is inhibition zone diameter and exhibition zone diameter and in this case it is turbidity that we measure in terms of optical density rest of the protocol is same that is first step is we have to prepare a standard graph using standard set that means here also we need a standard reference compound either antibiotic or growth factor like vitamin let us try to understand this using an example of turbidimetric assay for antibiotic so here the objective is to determine the quantity of a antibiotic in the given fermentation broth so which is unknown so as we have studied earlier that that standard reference compound has to be first diluted in suitable diluents like buffers mixture of buffers or distilled water under sterile conditions say for example here we can see that the antibiotic is diluted so as to produce these seven dilutions from 10 micrograms per ml to 70 micrograms per ml it may vary according to antibiotics after preparing these dilutions these dilutions should be in growth medium and it should contain an indicator organism that means these dilutions are prepared these concentrations are prepared such in a tube containing growth medium such that it will give you the desirable concentration so that is a part of calculation we can calculate how we can determine or prepare a stock solution of antibiotic and then we can prepare these dilutions so this each tube now contains three components first one is standard antibiotic second one is the growth medium that will support the growth of indicator organism and the third thing present in this tube is the indicator organism here in this case it will be antibiotic sensitive microbe mostly it is a bacterial culture then of course these tubes are then incubated at desirable temperature for desirable period usually 18 to 22 hours after incubation what we'll see is that wherever the concentration of antibiotic is higher we'll see or we'll note that the growth of the indicator bacterial culture will be decreased 
wherever the concentration is less the turbidity will be higher so this is a this is going to produce a gradient of turbidity that we can measure in terms of optical density so what happens after incubation as i said we can see the dark color it indicates higher turbidity and the faint color it indicates decreased turbidity so as said earlier we can see that at lower concentrations the growth is more and at higher concentrations of antibiotic the growth is less so in this fashion the organism will respond in relation to the concentration of antibiotic next step is to measure the optical density of all these tubes now we have two parameters here one is the concentration of standard antibiotic in micrograms per ml which is on x axis and now we have the another parameter that is optical density which is measured at particular wavelength then all these values of optical density versus respect to concentrations are plotted onto this graph and of course it will give you a linear line but as the concentration increases the turbidity decreases this kind of pattern we will see now what is the next step the next step is this is the standard set that you have prepared and this is the standard graph of antibiotic that you have prepared using standard reference compound now the next step is you have diluted sample or you have the fermentation broth in which the antibiotic is present its concentration is unknown so that antibiotic if required it is diluted and then its dilutions are prepared in a tube containing same components as were used for the preparation of standard set so it will contain diluted sample plus the growth medium plus the indicator organism these also were the same conditions which were used under preparation of during preparation of standard set so same component then again this tube will be incubated and whatever the turbidity generated that turbidity will be measured in terms of optical density now you can put this value of optical density of this unknown sample onto this standard graph this is how when you plot this optical density reading onto this graph you will come to know the corresponding concentration of standard antibiotic like this so this is how you can convert the optical density reading into concentration and this is how you can determine the concentration of antibiotic which is given in the unknown sample like this for vitamin assay turbidimetric and growth assay for vitamins are also conducted in the similar fashion so the first step will be to have a standard reference compound standard vitamin which is then diluted into the tubes the tubes should contain the minimal medium plus this vitamin remember this the type of medium here it should be minimal medium and 
that antibiotic in different concentrations so that minimal medium will be the growth medium in which that particular vitamin is missing and we are adding that vitamin in different concentrations so that medium will contain vitamin the growth medium that is minimal medium and an indicator organism so in this case also the indicator organism will be an exotropic mutant the mutant that requires this vitamin for growth again this standard set is then incubated and after incubation you will get the results in terms of optical density the results will be exactly opposite to the results which were obtained during antibiotic assay so we can see in this graph the dark squares field squares you can see it is the standard curve for antibiotic and exactly opposite you can see the hollow circles it is the standard curve for vitamin so in case of vitamin as the concentration of compound increases the optical density will increase so this is how if you have unknown sample containing vitamin it should be processed in the similar manner and then whatever the optical density reading is obtained that will be plotted onto this graph to know the exact concentration of that vitamin in the given fermentation broth or in the given preparation this is how turbidimetric assays are performed in liquid mediums to measure the quantity of growth inhibitory or growth stimulatory fermentation products